this thing to be able to happen? I mean, you're still a young guy, but uh, retiring a jersey a number? Yeah, this is amazing. Uh, I, I didn't see it coming and uh, just got probably, t what, two weeks ago? Uh, they told me about this, so it was very special to come back here just to be with my friends and family and just try to raise some money for the baseball team. And next thing you know, they're telling me my number's going to be retired here, and it's just such an honor. I mean, this university has given me so much in life, and I'm, I'm forever you know, thankful for everything they've done for me. You couldn't have imagined this was coming, recruited by only Butler and UC, and UC was at the last minute. I mean, to have, forget the college career, to have the big league career you had, you couldn't, like I said, couldn't have seen this coming. No, I mean, people ask me that. Uh, you know, you always dream as a kid. You always have visions. And when I was on the field out here at Johnny Bench Field, I mean, it was just about going out and having good games and being with my teammates and playing hard. And then, you know, you get drafted and you go down the minor leagues and you're just trying to get to each level going forward. So for me, it was all about just that day, that level, and just trying to get to the next. And then, you know, once you get to the major leagues, there's only one level to go after that. It's just make the all-star team and win World Series. And, you know, I was just so fortunate to be able to do that and have so many great teammates along the way that helped me do that. Well, you did that, and you did it in a place where they didn't exactly win a lot of World Series. You know? Right, yeah. And My to be a part of that, breaking that curse, the whole thing, and do it twice in a four-year period, very special. Yeah, it was a very, uh, I mean, 2004 was absolutely amazing. The, the, this town was electric. Uh, sports were an all-time high. I mean, uh, in Boston, all the championships were being won. Every major, you know, every major sport in that town has won a championship, which is pretty special. So I was very fortunate to get drafted by the Boston Red Sox. Uh, you know, the goal in life was always to be a Cincinnati Red, but that didn't happen. And, uh, you know, in life, it's funny. Things don't, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. So you just got to, you know, think uh, and hope for the best. And for me, it was just trying to get with one of 30 teams. And lo and behold, it was Boston. What was the influence here? When you, when you think about UC and what you got out of this place, what, 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 what do you think you carry? Clifton. Well, I think uh, there's a lot of good people along the way here, a lot of good friends, a lot of good, uh, you know, coaches and, uh, you know, whether it be administration people here that taught me a lot about how to just work hard and, and you know, just keep dreaming. Uh, you know, never stop dreaming, never uh, stop trying to achieve your goals. And I think at this university, they do a great job of making you believe in yourself and making you believe that you have a bright future ahead of you. And that's what they did. Do you realize the rarefied air when it comes to retir retired jerseys at the University of Cincinnati? I mean, do you, have you had a chance to <laughs> research it, or do you know about the retired jerseys at the University of Cincinnati? I only know the baseball uh, okay, retired jerseys. Yeah, so I only know the baseball and, yes, the two men that are, are retired <laughs> right now, uh, that are as of tomorrow, uh, they're pretty, pretty huge uh, deal here at this university. Uh, Ed Jucker being, you know, a big name and, and in basketball and, and you know in baseball too and Glenn Sample being another big figure here and just those two I mean it's very humbling these two guys are, are legends here at UC and they were here for a long long period I was here for four years uh, so it's, it's pretty remarkable to be uh, to be able to be put in the same sentence with these guys. Kevin, I know team. it's been a while but is there a story that sticks out to you from your time here something maybe off the wall that you recall from your time here? Wow. That, uh, that I'm able to share on air. <laughs> it's something we can air tonight, maybe. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I think uh, it was going to all the events and just all the athletes here. I mean, we, there were so many friends I had from soccer to basketball to football. It, it was just a collective group. And uh, we joke around about uh, the T-shirt they made of Catitude when I was here. And, uh, yeah, it was just such a bad T-shirt. But uh, I don't know. Who, I, sorry if anybody. Made, no, I don't have that one. We, I think we all threw that shirt away, but I actually saw a guy wearing it downtown after a Bengals game one time, and we all were just getting a kick out of it. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things where it, it was just going to, like, the games, like going to the basketball games, going to football, the Syracuse huge uh, upset, and then the Wisconsin upset, and just your buddies out there doing it. So that was very special for us, you know, storming the field, seeing the, the field goal post go up to McMicken, that was, that was special. So I think, I think that day when I saw the field goal post go all the way up to McMicken, and I don't know where it ended up, that was, that was probably the highlight of you know, well, my UC college days. College experience was more important than just baseball. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you, were, you were just a regular student. Yeah, no, I mean, the, the, the whole college experience, there, I mean, there's, there's a lot of experiences within it, uh, you know, not just the academics and just the sports, but I, I think it was just meeting people. Uh, you, you go from whatever town you're from, whatever city you're from, whatever your past is, and then you 
come together with a bunch of people and start a whole new life. Uh, everything you had back in your past, and good and bad, is gone. And you have to make a foundation here within the university somehow, and you have to get involved. And for us athletes, it was easy. We're right, we're right in a group, and we're involved within the university. And for me, I got to meet a lot of people that weren't athletes and were involved in uh, you know, the Greek life and, and just other little things around here. And those people today are still some of my close friends. What do you want to do long term? Something in the game? Uh, yeah, that's the number one question. Uh, you know, for me, I, I'm opening up a, a brew pub with my brother, Scott, who's a restaurant uh, tour in uh, San Francisco. Uh, it's called Fog Light Brewing Company in the town uh, that I reside in, which is called Los Gatos, which is Spanish for the cats, only fitting mm -hmm. uh, and ironic. I never planned to do that, just found the right house in the right spot, I guess. But, uh, you know, for me, people keep asking about baseball, and I just, I'm not ready to do professional baseball at all, and I don't vision myself doing anything in pro ball other than helping out, like with the Cubs, which I'm doing. Uh, you know, it's just, I love my family, I, and not to say that people that are in the sport, but it's, it's, a, it's a lot. It's, it's, a, it's a grind. You're away from your family a lot, and for me, I want to dedicate you know, these, these pivotal years of my, of my children's lives to them and, and not to what I would like to do in life. Well, you better tell the Reds fans now why you're working for the Cubs. I'm guessing it's a Theo no. connection. Yeah, no, Walt never called me. So, uh, <laughs> you know, if Walt would have called, I might have, you know, I, I might have I might have came on board. But, you know, you in life, you, you always have to be, uh, you know, bas I mean, for me, it was Theo and Jed Hoyer. They called right away. They wanted to see where my vision was going forward. And, you know, you have to be loyal to, and to you know, like to University of Cincinnati, I'm loyal, and uh, you know I wish I could have been as loyal to the Reds if they would have drafted me. I don't know who the GM at the time was. I'm still mad about. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, it's all good. It all happened. Everything's great. But uh, they've been great to me, and I have to be very loyal to them. And that's why I jumped on board. And uh, there's a lot of great talent there, which is a lot of fun to watch too. So uh, it's nothing personal against the Reds. Uh, it's just a team that I'm, I'm working with. Kevin, the All-Star Game obviously coming here this summer. You were a three-time All-Star. Can you just kind of describe what that honor is like, just getting to play in an All-Star Game? The All-Star Game is amazing. It's, it's a lot of fun. I would say your first one's always the most glorious one, and then after that, it's like, holy cow, there's a lot you know, going on here. Uh, so for me, the first one I had was in New York. Uh, that was the last, uh, the last All-Star Game at Yankee Stadium, and that was just wow. That was, that was probably one of the most amazing days of my life because Tony Perez was out at first base when they announced me to come out to the position. And that's when it hit me, like, holy cow, like all these greats were on the, on the field and Tony Perez is on the field, who's like my dad's, one of my dad's favorite players. And I'm standing next to him and he has this huge smile on his face knowing that I'm from Cincinnati. And that was very special to me. I think that was one of the only times I was almost in tears, like out of joy. Uh, so yeah, the All-Star Game's amazing. And for those guys that had their first time doing it, you just gotta soak it all in. It's, it's just such an amazing experience, and you know your head's going crazy because you're signing things and all over the map and going on the different kinds of tours around the city. So you know, for me, the, New York will always well, uh, other than the parade, we, we don't want to discuss the parade. That was a whole other entity in itself. They didn't really like me there in New York in that parade, but uh, no, it, it's great. It's it's a it's a fun experience, and it's great for the town. You know, speaking about New York, obviously the World Series stick out the two of them. But that 0-4 LCS, you're down 3-0. Roberts gets the base hit, the stolen base. Win the game. Millar got the walk. Were, yeah. yeah. And, and we can't, you, we can't, we can't throw that one out there. <laughs> well, the, the <laughs> whole thing. I mean, yeah, yeah. And then you went four straight, and it's against the Yankees, where you, you didn't have a good history against them. So, I mean, does that kind of define everything you've done? Obviously, the world, like I said, the World Series stick out for themselves. Well, for me, I was just a cheerleader in that ALCS. So I was, a rookie, I, I was, yeah. yeah, I was a rookie in that season, so. For me, I, I just sat back and watched, and it, it was fun. I, I, got to, I learned a lot, and, and basically in that series and all the experiences along in 04 really helped me to be the player I became later on because these guys taught me everything and showed me how to be a good ball player and how to be a respectful ball player. So uh, I owe a lot to that team and just, yeah, I mean, all the nostalgia of the Red Sox and Yankees and the rivalry and all that, it went to a higher level when we were there. It's kind of died out a little bit, but... You know, it's it's a special special uh, series, and that and that, I mean, that game six and game seven in New York, I'll never forget. And actually celebrating and partying in the locker room, I mean, it was just there's not much room in there if anybody's ever been in that locker room. So I mean, you know, the court, I mean, they ripped it all down, and but the courts were stuck in the in the ceiling, and it was a it was a little bit of a mess. Anything else?